All right, um, over here at the farmhouse. Uh, so this fucking yoga bud, whoo, boy. So, um, so it's like, so I was doing better. I was doing better, what, a week, two weeks ago, whatever it was. Before yoga, I was doing a lot better um, in several different ways, physically, as far as breathing, as far as just like um, my legs not feeling like they weigh a million pounds, um, stamina, several different things physically like that in that regard. Um, I wasn't feeling like I was going to pass out or throw up or, you know, nauseous. And so what this yoga is doing is it's bringing. So I was fine on that layer, right? I had hardened myself on that layer and gotten used to that layer. So what the yoga does, is it breaks that fucking barrier down and uh, lets you get one one fucking step closer into the root of all your fucking issues. So, yeah, that's definitely the best and only way I could possibly put into words how this fucking feels, man. Um, because otherwise, I'd, I mean, honestly, I had a, a couple of times I thought I was having a heart attack. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just taking it very extremely slow and I'm just saying, you know, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful for this healing. I'm grateful for feeling like this. I'm grateful for what it's doing for me. So, lots of fucking gratefulness, but, um, and that brings me back, you know. Uh, so, uh, I got all them vines down over here and got this. So I got the vines down, I got a rope tied. On the way out of here, I'm gonna drag that shit out and go drop it off somewhere on the hills on the farm. Uh, like I said, I'm just taking it very slow. I mean, I'm fucked up, like today. Holy shit, man. I mean, yeah, I just wanted to give up all fucking day. But my body needs this, I need it. I mean, I'm sweating. It's like disgusting sweat, you know? It feels like nasty. Um, I don't know how to, it just feels nasty, doesn't feel, it feels thick and slimy, um, and it's just trying to get out of me, you know, um, that's what it feels like, uh, and I'm sure it probably stinks, I'm sure it probably has a fucking smell to it, I get, uh, heavy metal smells under my armpits, um, I'm sure the rest of me probably smells like heavy metals too, but I just, you know, you're around it. I'm stuck in it, so I can't tell. Uh, so, I'm, but I am. So look, this is the trade-off. This is the thing. I've, I've, come, I've come a long fucking ways, but um, I took that carb apart on the lawnmower the other day. I'm doing a lot of like more like technical um, processing stuff. Um, and it's not stressing me. So I'm able to hand those type of things. I'm able to, I'm taking on new things. I'm wrapping my mind around the interior. I'll probably, um, oh, what I would like to do is hit that interior tomorrow. Uh, the upstairs and get that all scraped and and sanded and uh, prepped and ready for paint. Um, Aiden is coming over tomorrow. I'm gonna pick him up tomorrow night. And uh, well, I gave him the choice, you know, what he wanted to do. And you know, I don't have anything planned. I mean, it's not really too much I can do you know, outside of what I'm doing to prep to move to this house. Um, so, you know, 
I just told him, I was like, well, man, you know, if you want, we, you know, you can hang out with me on Friday and we can start painting. So he sounded excited about that. Um, he sounded excited about it before, so we'll see um, what happens. But either way, right now my mind's sort of set, you know, when I come here tomorrow, that I'll be doing um, the prep work on the interior because I don't know if me and him will be painting the interior or the exterior on Friday. Um, it sort of depends, I guess, on weather and how I feel. Um, Cause the exterior I can paint right in front of me. Um, whereas the interior, I have a ceiling to do and um, you know, so I have above head work to do. Um, I don't know if I'm ready <sighs> because so, okay. So, oh man, that transition's perfect. And the reason I say that is because I was doing above head work today. You can see all these limbs that I cut. This is all cleaned up towards the bottom, but it was all, you know, fuck. I think that might be what fucking me up. But I went under on the underside of this because I like this. I like having all this shade. This is nice. Um, but I thinned all that out on the end, underside. Um, whereas before, you know, you see, I cut all those fucking limbs out. Thin this out in here, you know, nice shady spot here. Clean that up a little bit. Um, I brought all this shit up. You can see I cut those big limbs that were hanging out here above the driveway here. Cut all those limbs out towards the bottom. Oh, um, yo, yeah. So I got the weed whacker. Shit. I got the weed whacker done too, so you guys can see. See all this is weed whacked now. Um, so yeah, man, I got the bolts to fucking use new equipment and take equipment apart and you know, so I'm healing and that's that's how I know. That's what kept me here today. Cause like I said, I mean I got shivers going up my spine. I mean, this is hard. certainly not easy you know um but uh yeah that's what kept me here today is knowing that um how far of how far I'm uh recovering and healing in other areas so it kept me here you know so my mind didn't play tricks on me and I didn't think, you know, I didn't let my mind overrule and confirm that I was having a heart attack or that my lungs were just going to shrivel up so tight I couldn't, you know, I was just going to die of not being able to breathe. Um, you know, so yeah, man, it's, uh, it's coming along. I feel like I just, by sticking out today. Feels like a, um, feels like a big hurdle for some reason. Sticking out today. Uh, not sure why. But I'm very grateful. <sighs> 